Welcome to Chamber Chat. I am one of your hosts, Courtney Galley, the Director of Special Events. And I'm Brian Bonney, President of the Conroe Lake Conroe Chamber of Commerce. Each month, guests are brought on to talk about what is happening in the Conroe Lake Conroe Chamber of Commerce. We get the inside scoop of our members, what they do, and what has made their company successful. We also chat about upcoming events and programs the Chamber is hosting. The Chamber is a nonprofit 501c6 organization and is designated as a three-star accredited chamber by the U.S. Chamber of Commerce. The mission of the Chamber is to strengthen the economic environment and quality of life in Montgomery County. The Chamber is made up of more than 1,100 members and provides members with monthly networking events, educational seminars, cost-effective marketing opportunities, and more. I hope you have your cup of coffee because we have a great lineup this morning. Well, I have my Diet Coke. I don't have my cup of coffee. <laughs> oh, man. I grabbed a Diet Coke because it's right. like a Monday, Tuesday. It is. It's a, it is a Monday, Tuesday, on a Tuesday. Yes. Don't like those. It would be, wouldn't it be better if it was like a Friday? Friday? Yeah. Yes. Okay. That's what yes, I thought. Yes, I totally agree. Yes. <clears throat> well, we have, we have, I'm so excited. We have like three guests today. The studio is full. Oh, yes. yes. The, I love it. We've got a huge audience here at Lone Star Community Radio. Lots of folks things to talk about. It's going to be yeah. a great day. Yes. So before we get to our guests, let's right. do some recap of some of the, because we weren't on last month. Right. I'm not sure if the doors were locked because it was us or if it was. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to keep that riffraff out. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So we missed talking about your successful first time event, the Athena Leadership Award. Yes, it was so such a great event. Tell us what that felt like putting that on. It was awesome. Um, you know, the Athena Award, um, was to honor women in business, uh, something that um, I don't think that, well, our chamber has done or or up here um, kind of in the North County Park, Conroe Park. So it was really great to be able to do that and see the turnout um, and just the overall event. So it was sold out. It was at, um, yes. it was at um, Heather's, Heather's Glen, Glen yes. right? Yes, beautiful venue. It fit the kind of Athena Greek, you know, theme that we were having. So, right, yeah, it right. was perfect for that. And uh, 18... Uh, nominees. nominees, yes. And all of them were there? Um, everyone except for one. That's uh, right. Yeah, Linda Nelson wasn't able. She was already traveling, so. That's right. Yeah. Which is amazing that there were 17 out of yes. the 18 present. Yes. Uh, and then the, uh, the the recipient this year was? Mm -hmm. Danielle Shiner, my old boss, which I didn't, I didn't vote. We didn't Insider vote. Insider information? Yeah, no. We um, just, you know, so people know, we, Athena, um, the, their international, um, program that we buy the licensing from, they um, they can um, take the nominations and uh, look at them and then come up with the, with the winner. So we decided that that was probably the best thing to do. It would be a very unbiased, you know, opinion. They wouldn't know these people. Right. Um, and they could really just determine the person upon their application. So Danielle was selected. And the reason they selected her um, when we got the um, email back was because of her specific um, volunteer work with women or women's organizations sure so she's very strong in that aspect as opposed to some of the other ones who've done overall community help and work in volunteerism and things like that but um they just felt like she had a lot more that focused on women yeah, absolutely yeah. and and i will also say that you had a committee that did yes a lot of legwork oh behind the gosh. scenes they were awesome so my committee consisted of julie martineau patricia brown sarah ray angela sorsett uh, Randy Morton, and gosh, am I forgetting someone? I feel like I am. I don't know why. Sorry if I forgot you. I think that's it, though. <laughs> oh, Meredith. Huh. Oh, thank you. I Meredith Karuba. Yes, yes, Meredith. Uh, but they were awesome. They, I mean, I would want them on my all of my committees. They, they really, um, really embraced the idea yes. of the event and um, kind of, really just fell in love with the event and really backed it. And that goes a long way when you're having volunteers and committee people um, with it. So, yes, they were tremendous help. They they sold a lot of sponsorships. They helped really come up with, well, Angela came up with kind of the all-white theme, and um, they were just a great help. That It would not have been possible to have the event that we had without them. Would you say that you've got a great foundation for going forward? Oh, for sure. Yeah, That's definitely. Uh, yeah, I mean, we unfortunately, we've outgrown Heather's Glen, even though it's a beautiful place to have it. So uh, we'll have to have it at a larger venue next year. Um, 
Yeah, and then just some ideas about how we can, um, you know, grow it and make it a signature event for the chamber and then just other things that we could possibly grow grow into for years to come. So, Good yeah. Job. Yeah, it was an amazing event. Yes. Very well attended. And uh, we're ready for 2019. Yes, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> now, let's switch gears because okay. on the other side of the spectrum. Oh, the men. Was the men. The real men Mm -hmm. of Montgomery. Yes, we had the real men of Montgomery County Style Show in August. Um, It was at Wiesner, um, Buick, and GMC in their showroom there, which was fabulous. Awesome. Thank you to um, Fallon and Wiesner for doing that. Um, Dick was one of our models. He's always a great... Good job, Dick. A great person. He's always kind of... I don't even have to tell him. He just does it. Johnny Quest. Yes. But you really needed Bandit with you, though. Then you could have had a chance against the baby. Oh, yeah. (laughs) That's very true. I, I could not find out why I couldn't find a bandit looking dog. Well, it turns out when bandit was created, the reason they did that is because it was easier to do a white dog to oh. draw one with a black mask with the, with a black, with black eyes, opposed huh. to doing an actual pit bull. Got it. It was really weird. And I was like, well, I can't believe they don't have it made like a bandit dog. Right. Plush toy. Yeah, nope. exactly. Nope. Nope. Oh nope. man. Couldn't buy one. I look for one. Oh, yeah. Maybe the licensing may be available. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you probably would have gotten runner up with a dog if you had a dog with you. Like a I mean, real dog? You know, yeah, right. I mean, you know, the baby helped the winner. Throw so. it to somebody in the audience? Yeah, exactly. Babies <laughs> you know, raffled and, it off. <laughs> babies and dogs. <laughs> right. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. So the Real Men of Montgomery County Style Show, we had, um, I think, like a, mm, 21 models, 20 models. Um, in this event, we partner with a charity partner. So it was for Education for Tomorrow Alliance. Um, and we had this year, in, uh, instead of just crowning the real man, we had, um, very Miss America style where we crowned the first, second and third runner up. So that was, that was pretty fun. <laughs> um, so Brent Wunderlich, who represented EFTA was the winner. And so he's the real man of, uh, 2018, 2019. And if, if he cannot fulfill his duties, then Cody Spence with all-star catering can take over as the real man. So, I know there's already some issues there. So if Brent doesn't show up, if you see Brent Wanderlich and he doesn't have a sash on, that's going to be points taken away from him. And then Cody's <laughs> ready to step in at any time. So, uh, but just a fun part for the event. Um, we had um, lots of people there raised uh, some, some money for a nonprofit and for the chamber. It was really fun. It's a really fun event. So Great I have networking to say, as well, too, I think. The, uh, the, the team of Cody Spence and Guy Barker. Oh, my gosh. Came as Austin Powers and Dr. Evil. They were and awesome. It was as if they had been rehearsing that their entire life. They they have been rehearsing, I think, for like six months Which up to it. Which scares me that they have that much free time on their hands. Mm-hmm. <laughs> They're always ready to go. I just kind of let them do their own thing. But, yeah, um, speaking of that, we did um, really – normally we have a theme, but it's more of the theme of the marketing and kind of the, the um, look of the event. But we really themed it out this year and did superheroes. Yep. I don't know how I'm going to top that for next year. That's going to be a tough one. So it was really fun. The guys really did a great job um, getting in costume. I was kind of worried about that. We had a couple of people that just did business suits, but that's fine. Um, but, yeah, it was really, really fun. So, yeah. Yeah. Good stuff. Yes. So, we, yeah, we went from women to men. So, we, you know, we're equal opportunity. Equal. Chamber. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> and that means that summer's over and we're yes. headfirst into Lobster Fest. Yes. Which we'll get into a little bit later. Yes. yes. Okay. Lobster Fest coming up for sure. So let's introduce our guest yes. and find out what's going on. Yeah, unfortunately, since we were on the last month, uh, Debbie gets to come back this month. So Debbie Dykes, <laughs> good morning. Welcome. Good morning. Thanks Network for coming. in action. Yes. yes. Outstanding. So I, I will say before I forget, Debbie was our um, diplomat of the month last month. Um, and so if you have last month's um, FYI, you can read ab- about her and um, just her. Um, some of the great questions I always like to reiterate is what is your favorite um event and her favorite event is the morning mingle um which i think is great uh Absolutely. because she says it's an opportunity to meet other members so uh but uh try and find last month and read about um debbie if you haven't done before it's some great information in there great thank you thank yes you. congratulations on diplomat of the month oh that was a th- i was very excited yes so tell great. us a little bit about yourself and how you got to where you're at here today well i'm uh, actually relatively new to conroe uh, and that's kind of what got me on this whole s- network in action uh, opportunity. Ooh. I wanted an opportunity. I was a sales trainer in the past, so okay. I spent many, many years in the corporate environment and uh, decided to retire. That lasted two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> <Got a> little, <laughs> yeah, that didn't work well for me. Right. I missed uh, the interaction with the people, and I missed being out and doing 
stuff. Right. And well, I had the cleanest house in Conroe, probably. <laughs> that wasn't, it wasn't, mm. I wasn't having fun. Right. So I really started researching and finding something that would get me out. Something would give me an opportunity to kind of give back to my community. And I found this. And Network in Action has been awesome. Just incredible. It gives me an opportunity to get out, meet the people in Conroe, mm -hmm. and help them build their businesses. And that's the goal of this group is to get business people together and kind of collaborate on how we can build each other's businesses. Hmm. And it, uh, it's, it's been great so far. We yeah. have... Um, we pass along referrals. We okay. do networking activities to get us to know each other better. And um, it's just been so much fun, so much fun. And it, like I said, it's, it's a way to focus on Conroe business people and mm -hmm. allowing me the opportunity to help them grow their businesses. And that's, that's what my job is within yeah. the group is to help them. How is it different from any other kind of networking group that you could be a part of? We're different because... I am the sole leader. I am. Okay. I coordinate everything. I look for new members. I help every member in the group build their their individual networks as well as their own businesses. Okay. So I'm very de dedicated yeah. and focused on the growth of the group. Right. Uh, so we that, only, we does that only, make you kind of like a mentor or a business coach? Oh yeah. Kind of both. Okay. Actually. Yeah. And it's what's great about it is I get to pick the mentor, the members of the group, so I know their personalities. I know that they'll be a good fit with the other members. Uh, and they just love each other. They all get along so well. They're all helpful for each other. Right. And it's, you know, they're all, they too want to see the other members of the group succeed and, and grow their businesses, which was, that's kind of, as a sales trainer, my, I, I really enjoyed <coughs> seeing a, a sales rep be successful. Mm -hmm. And this kind of transitioned well for me. This gives me an opportunity to see other people do well. Right. So, yeah, makes sense. Um, we only meet once a month. Okay. We meet uh, the third Wednesday of every month. We do meet at uh, one of the local restaurants. We can go, again, support the local right. uh, businesses. And uh, it's in the afternoon, so we have a chance after our meeting to network, yeah. first, you know, on a little more casual level and uh, get to know each other a little better. The one thing I think, there's a couple things that I just love about this group. Every year, at, in the 11th month of our membership, okay. we actually pick a charity to support and give back to on a oh, nice. yearly basis. Yeah. So we'll all vote on it, and everybody will contribute yeah. their ideas, and then we'll pick a charity, and then we'll either volunteer and help them do something or do maybe a fundraiser or something to help yeah. that charity. And another thing that really stands out for me in, as a networking group is we guarantee a return on, your, on investment. So if you're a member... I will guarantee as the as the leader of the group mm -hmm. that you'll get a return on your investment so you're fully invested and totally engaged in the group. I'll make mm -hmm. sure I ensure the success of everybody in the group. Wow, that's a huge undertaking. Yeah. That's it is. But yeah. When it's this group is it's so much fun and it everybody's so engaged. It makes it really easy though. You know, when you when you're working with people you enjoy, you want to yeah. help them succeed. You want to get out there and help them grow their business. Right. I mean, if they're happy and successful, I'm happy and successful. You know, it's, yeah, that's very it's a win-win for everybody. Yeah. How, how many people do you have in the group? I have 16 right now. Oh, okay. That's and a I'm, good number. It's still yeah. growing. Yeah. yeah. It's still growing. Do you have like a max number that you feel like you could grow into? I'm looking, personally, I would like to see 25 or 30. Yeah. And oh, okay. it's in their yeah. individual seats, so we don't have any internal competition. I have a realtor. I have a mortgage company. Oh, okay. And uh, so there's, if I get a referral within the group, it goes to my person, that person in my group. So there's no competition. I right. don't, I want to help that individual. Yeah, that makes that makes, Yeah, so, I like that. And what's, what I love about it is at my introduct the uh, new member introductory mm -hmm. meeting that we had. Uh, oh, at the at chamber? chamber? Yeah. I got uh, a fantastic member. I got a fantastic Gary Worsler with uh, yes. Guaranteed Rate Affinity. Yes. Yes. He's That's funny that you mention the chamber orientation because we have one coming up. Um, called Maximize Your Membership. And it's going to be on the 18th from 515 to 630 at the chamber. I, and I highly suggest anybody that's new to the chamber go to that. It's It was very beneficial to me. Right. So. Yeah. I got to meet the new people, kind of get my name out there. Right. 
and uh, like I said, got yeah. one of my members from that group. So right. I there definitely recommend it. Awesome. Yeah. So tell me a little bit about being a sales trainer. What what was that like, and and how do you know when you've got a good salesperson mm. versus one that just is there to occupy a seat? <laughs> Ooh, that's interesting. <laughs> yeah, that's real. I, you know, that's one of those things that you kind of take them on as your as your kid almost. Yeah. It's like it's like raising a child. They, you know, you you recognize that person because they have the energy and they. They really want to learn anything and everything they can to make their job successful. Right. And that's that's what I provided. I provided product training. I provided selling skills training. I provided anything and everything that they could use to become successful in their company. And you could tell when they were enthusiastic because they were early to the meeting or early to the training, and they would ask questions and they knew your cell phone by heart because they were calling you all hours. <laughs> saying, okay, what do I do here? What do you think I should do? And that's, you know, you knew that person was going to be successful. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. When you have to track them down, wondering where they're at, um, you know, are you in your car? Are you at home in front of the TV? Uh, yeah. Did you have a couple of those? Yeah. You know, <laughs> I think everybody. Inevitably, does. right? Yeah. <laughs> I, I get does. that. Yeah. That's good. So probably that really is a good background for, for network connection. It helps you understand that mentality of that salesperson, what they have to do to become successful. And it's sales is not for everybody. Right. You know, it's, right. you yeah. definitely, is a, the, you have to have that right personality. You have to have the energy and the, yeah. And you can't, you know, you've got to be one of those that aren't afraid to take those no's. Because, yep. you know, how, no matter how fantastic you are, there's going to be a no out there and you just got to take yep. it with a grain of salt and keep going. Yeah. You have some thick skin. Definitely thick skin and don't yeah. take it personal. Right. It's not you, it's the product or the situation right. or, or whatever. Right. But it's definitely, uh, it's it's one of those growing experiences. Yeah. If you get through the first few no's, you're golden. You can do anything. Yeah. As somebody who came, you know, not from a fundraising background, who came on to a fundraising job, um, you know, I was like, oh, gosh, I, I can't sell stuff. But I'm like, well, no, I can sell the chamber because I believe in the chamber. Absolutely. And my kind of philosophy is I'm going to ask. I'm going to get one or two answers, yes or no. But if I don't ask, then it's definitely a no. So you're not going to offend me if you say no. I mean, I, you may offend me a little bit. No, I'm kidding. Uh, <laughs> but, you know, I mean, you have to have the ask out there. So, but, yeah, you kind of, you have to kind of, like, get over that a few couple of times. Like, oh, gosh, I feel so defeated. Because there's sometimes when you ask, 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 ask. And then there's, oh, no, I can't, and you're, you're just kind of, ugh. But you got to keep going, so. Exactly. Yeah. Like you said, don't take it personal. It's right. not you. Right. It's just a matter of, you know, situation. Yeah. Maybe you didn't catch them at the right time. Right. You never know. Right. Yeah. You never know. Yeah. There's um, one of my favorite sales trainers. He said, basically, every no you get puts you that much closer to a yes. Absolutely. Oh, I like that. You're right. Which is what it comes down to. Yeah. And yeah. whatever that number is, it's a formula that is going to be specific to your industry. It might be nine no's and one yes, and that one yes pays for the, all those other no's. Yeah, very and all true. it takes is one yes to make you to make you feel so much better and <laughs> energized to go do it again. That's right. You know, definitely, right. definitely. Um, well, if anybody's interested in joining, how do they how do they do that? They can email me, okay, or they can call me. Okay, uh, we do have a website. It's www.networkinaction.com. They can call me at 713-303-1810. Perfect. Which is my cell phone, so I'm there constantly. Yeah. Or they can email me at D-E-B-B-Y dot, <laughs> hold on, I forget my email. I know, it's hard, right? It's D-E-B-B-Y at networkinaction.com. Okay. And, and uh, if you didn't get that, you can always call the chamber. We can give that out. Absolutely. You. Absolutely. I am in the directory, so. Awesome. Yeah. I am definitely available. Um, so oh. as far as your, you know, we talked about your business and everything, but, um, and a little bit about what the chamber has done for you, but, um, were you a member of a chamber before you, you did this? How, what, do, what do you hope to kind of get out or what kind of advice can you give to people who are thinking about maybe joining? Well, this was my first chamber. Oh, awesome. So, okay. And I didn't know what to expect quite honestly. <laughs> right. Because it was the first, but check them out. Go to the morning mingle listen to what the new me the members have to say, mm -hmm. kind of get to put yourself out there, introduce yourself. Yeah. Uh, right there is the best way to get to know the people in your, in, in your community. Yep. Definitely 
Um, and don't be afraid to volunteer. Don't be afraid to reach out and talk to people. Yeah. This has been a great experience for me. I, I'm oh, good. thrilled that I did it. Good. So, I, like I said, I had no idea what I was getting into. But after I did it, I was like, okay, this was great. <laughs> I'm glad I did it. <laughs> so, yeah. so what's it like being a diplomat? Yes. I love that. Yeah. I, yeah. Okay. I'm a bit of one of those people who'd like to kind of be in the spotlight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're in the perfect so, spot. <laughs> that, yeah. That helps a whole lot. <laughs> but that gives me a little more one-on-one -on -one time with each of the businesses that are coming on right. board. Gives me a chance to tell them personally what, what benefits the chamber is going to bring for them. Yeah. So I love it. I've had so much fun meeting the new businesses around town kind of representing Conroe as a city right. that um, we, we're one of the fastest growing cities in the United States. What better way to represent the city than get out and meet these people? Right. It's been, it's been a lot of fun. I definitely um, would, I will continue doing that one. Good. That one's fun. Well, we appreciate, we Excellent. appreciate great volunteers like you to you do that. So, is. yeah. Well, um, I think we're probably um, almost done with our first segment. I know we have a couple more guests coming on, but thank you, Debbie, so much. Thank you. Um, why don't you give our listeners one more time how to get in touch with you if they are thinking about being, uh, uh, um, you know, or interested in a network connection. Absolutely. Again, my email is Debbie, D-E-B-B-Y, at networkinaction.com, or you can reach out to me on my cell phone at 713-303-1810, or our website is www networkinaction.com. Thank you so awesome. much. Thank you very for joining much. Us. Thanks for being here, Debbie. Oh, thanks for having me. On Chamber Chat on Lone Star Community Radio, and we'll be back in a few minutes. A Lone Star Community Radio is ready for the summer. If you or anyone you know is looking for summer internship opportunities, a Lone Star Community Radio is a great place to grab the mic and be on the air. A Lone Star Community Radio offers a great opportunity to those interested in learning about the radio world all year round. Be an on-air personality, talk show producer, or YouTube TV podcast editor. Contact the station at info at IRLoneStar.com or call the station's message line at 936-647-647. 3776. Have a legal question? Are you a resident of Montgomery County? Call 281 645 6344 to talk to a volunteer attorney from the Woodlands Bar Association. We answer the phones on the first Monday of every month at 281 645 6344 from 5 p.m. to 8 p.m to provide general legal information and information about legal resources to Montgomery County residents. And we're back with Chamber Chat on Lone Star Community Radio. I'm Brian Bondi, president of the Conroe Lake Conroe Chamber of Commerce. And I'm Courtney Galley, the director of special events. Hey, that was really cool listening about network connection. Yes, Debbie did a great job. Yeah, she really did. Yes, we love that. We may have her as a guest host. I think so, but we ever need somebody to fill in. Yeah. We, right. We've got we've got she, a guest host. She yes. likes the spotlight. Yes, she does. And we yeah. are on the spotlight when we're on Lone Star Community Radio. <laughs> <laughs> Well, our next guest is Katie Krause. Is it Krause or I never know how to say it with Krause. an e. Krause. See, mm -hmm. I would say it with an E because, you know, being from a German town, Krause. <laughs> with bears, etc. Yay! Yay! We're so glad to have you. I'm so excited. So Katie is the um, diplomat of the month for um, September. Yes, that's the month we're in. Yes. Sorry. Yeah. Oh my god! It's all gone by so fast. I know. Oh my yeah. god. I don't know where August went. It's, it's it disappeared. Yeah, definitely. Um, so Katie's the executive director and founder of Bears, etc. Um, and again, when we uh, so with, there's a diplomat highlight in the um, current FYI. Um, and what I always like to kind of highlight is what their favorite event is. That's one of the questions that they get asked. And hers is also morning mingle. Um, she's a morning person, which yeah, we I can't relate to, but. <laughs> um, 
Well, and you're so better like, than you think you are. <laughs> and um, she loves getting up and starting the day with people and, and, and who want to grow their business and learn more about the community. So I always think that's kind of cool. I always like to know what people like about the chamber. So. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's my favorite thing to start my day with like-minded people. So as yeah. many morning events as I can get, get to <laughs> and talk yeah. to people, that's when I'm at yeah. my best. Yeah. I love so, it. Um, and I'm actually uh, going to start chairing the morning morning mingle. Um, Ooh, yeah. Yeah. So That's right. not this month because, you know, we have a lot going on, um, but starting next month, but I'm practicing this month. Yeah, that's right, what I'm talking so about. Speak. So Excellent. I'm pretty excited. You next Thursday morning, come in and watch me <laughs> crash and burn my first time. No, 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 no. <laughs> We've got a good support network for you. Oh, yes. yes. Oh, yes. I'm very excited. We always talk about the food at Morning Mingle when we're on the radio show. Yeah. <laughs> that always goes back to the food. Oh, yeah, the food. Kind of <laughs> It's pretty so important. Good. Yeah. It's at Connor's Incredible Pizza Company yes. at 730. Um, and yeah, I mean, again, you know, we kind of, oh, the pizza, pizza company. Oh, my gosh. They do a wonderful breakfast. Yes. Oh, yeah. my gosh. And several different options. Yes. So if you, like, need sweets in the morning, there's right. cinnamon rolls. Oh, my gosh. Um, <laughs> but there's also breakfast pizza, but there's also eggs and bacon. Right. Like, yeah, it's there really we go. Good. Food. For oh, $10, yeah. it's awesome. Yes. Yes. Plus, you get all the networking as well, yes. too. So, yep. Do All we know what networking? Do we events. know what networking activity we're doing? Um, we will find out on Monday at the diplomat meeting. Oh, okay. So um, I thought I read in the uh, EFYI that it's going to be networking bingo. Oh, oh that's yes. right. It is. Yeah. Ooh, yeah, that's a lot of fun to yeah, watch. Yeah, that'll be really fun. Yep. Yep. And I'm pretty sure Find the Bear is on there. I think. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that was really fun. Yeah, I had fun the last time we did it. Yeah, that's yeah. a good one. Yeah, because you get you get to I think meet. You're gonna pair up and meet different people. I think so. Right. Yeah. yeah. Good time. Yeah, and it's, it's really more fun. than just the person, but what they do. And you usually don't get that combination. You know, they say right. in order to build the relationship with someone, you have to meet them seven times. And a lot of times, I'm like, oh my gosh, what does she do again? Oh my gosh, you know. Yeah. And that really helps you connect because right. you actually have to reach out and find them. Right. So yeah, that's what I like about our um, our breakfast morning mingle is that, and we kind of like our tagline is not your average sixty second commercial because we do different things. It's not everybody's comfortable getting up and doing a commercial every week, you know. Yes. So we try to do different things and make it fun and exciting and change it up a little bit. That's what I like about it. So yeah, keeping it fresh. Yes, right. Absolutely. Exactly. Yeah. And putting me on the mic. Putting you everybody on up. the mic. <laughs> Katie is in the house. Yes. Good morning. <laughs> Love that. So tell us about bears, et cetera. So bears, et cetera, um, is an exotic animal refuge specializing in bears. And so we... That's the name, bears. Bears, et cetera. Et cetera. Gotcha. Exactly. Okay, just making sure. Got, got it. Um, perfect. Um, and so I've been in the industry for 20 years. Most people know me because of my grooming and pet sitting that I do. Um, but over the years, I also, that's my like adult job, so to speak, um, <laughs> that pays for my passion. Right. And Got so, it. um, I've worked for several different facilities in the wildlife field, whether it be wildlife rehabilitation or, um, uh, wildlife rescue, exotic animal rescue. And, um, the last facility that I worked at in Indiana, that's where, I saw the true need um, of the epidemic that is the exotic pet trade um, across the country mm -hmm. and having to tell people, no, we can't take in your tiger or we can't take in your bear because there's not enough space. Those shelters, those sanctuaries, the two sanctuaries that don't buy, sell, breed, or trade, um, they're full, just like our dog and cat shelters. Wow. And so especially for bears. Um, so there's not many places that will take in bears because um, big cats are pretty easy, not that they're easy right. uh, um, by any means, but they sleep 20 out of 24 hours a day and they're not as smart. So uh, they're kind of dumb sometimes. Oh, I love my tigers. <laughs> I love my tigers and lions, but uh, the I bears are that. just super smart really? um, and they're active all day. They're smart like primates and elephants. Um, they dig, <laughs> they climb. Uh, so their caging requires a lot more. Their enrichment program requires a lot more because if they're not enriched mentally, yeah. then they tend to stare, tear stuff up. Similar to your dog at home. Oh, you know? oh yeah. that explains a lot. Similar okay. to your dog at home. Yes, <laughs> we've, talked about, uh, we've talked about that. Little scouting um, hand. <laughs> if they don't get enough mental enrichment, if they don't, right. you know, they just, they find things to get in trouble. Um, and so a lot of facilities won't do them. There are several big cat sanctuaries across the country that will do bears, but they're full. One sanctuary mm. um, a year and a half, well, two years ago this fall, took on nine bears at one time from a, um, roadside wow. facility that was shut down, but they also took in, there's over a hundred animals at this facility, wow. um, mostly Gosh. big cats, but, um, 
So yeah, there's really no place for them to go because everybody is full. So um, I left my previous job at the Black Pine Animal Sanctuary in Northeast Indiana, moved down here because East Texas is where my heart belongs and um, started to go in the direction of yeah. starting our own sanctuary. Um, and my husband came along along with that and met so. him <laughs> at the sanctuary I used to work at. So um, I knew where his heart was and he knew where mine was. Um, yeah. And so teamed up to do this together. So it's very exciting. Yeah. So we are fundraising currently to get a property, um, right. preferably in Montgomery, Texas. But as we all know, the largest growing city in the nation. Um, property prices keep going up as fundraising <laughs> yes. goes up. Yeah. Um, so that's what we're working on uh, right now. We have Oktoberfest coming up October 6th. So Say that again because it's super cute. Oktoberfest. Oktober. So over my 20 years, I've always wanted to have a bear, like, object or um, focus. Right. Fundraiser, right? So at different places I've worked, they have St. Caddy's Day. They have <laughs> lions, tigers, and beers. They oh, have yeah. everything's cat-based. I'm like, come on, let's have a bear thing. And so yes. I finally, they didn't do it, so I can do it now. So, right? I love the name. Um, That's so cute. October so um, yes. go to Lobster Fest yes. Thursday and Friday. Come to October Fest on Saturday. Right. Just, you know, make, make it, it a whole weekend. Whole, right? Yes. Best yes. all week. Best. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> So, but, best of us for the rest of us. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yes, exactly. So we will be doing that um, as well. We'll be at Lobster Fest on uh, Thursday night. Mm -hmm. And then Saturday, Courtney yes. is going to be at oh. October Fest. I'll be dragging, so. but I'll be there. <laughs> yes. So we're very excited um, for that. We still have open vendor booths available. Um, we still need barbecue cook-off teams. We still need sponsors. Um, there'll be bounce houses. It's very family friendly. Um, yeah. very excited. Wine pool, um, silent auction, um, things like that going on. And it's on. in Montgomery. Yeah. Downtown yeah. Montgomery, And right? historic downtown Montgomery. Yes. So the old historic homes, uh, and stuff. So it's very, um, it's, it's beautiful right now, especially yeah. after the rain with yeah. the trees and everything. So. But a fun event for family as yes. well, too. Very yes. family very friendly. Family friendly. Yeah. Yep. Are there, there going to be any bears there? Um, Polson will be there. Grizzly Flatums will be there. We're trying to get a couple other bears there. Yeah. Um, but we're not sure yet if they uh, will be able to make it. So, so stay tuned. So when you have them there, are they are like, like, is it kind of, I mean, I'm so uh, just beyond, you know, <laughs> what is Just give her like the bear pretty, essentials. Oh, but I'm bump. That was pretty good. So uh, we can like, barely wait. Polson is, <laughs> Polson is very excited. Um, but are they, are you, can you interact with them? Um, well, Polson, um, he's out and about at several of the events that we've had. He was at the um, event we had at the Lone Star Convention Center. Oh, okay. Um, so he is our mascot. <laughs> and Grizzly Flatums is a life side car cardboard cutout of a oh, grizzly I'll bear. See, you got me. So I thought, <laughs> oh my gosh, because I just think they're so cute. I would want to go up and hug no, them. No, no, no. Yeah. There will not be live bears there. Yeah. Um, that wouldn't be fair right. to them. Right. Um, Right. Part of our that's, that's a good point. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Part yeah. of our uh, mission is to give the animals and the pe and the people the peace of the wild. P E A C. -E. They've come from these neglective, abusive yeah. um, homes, and so the bears get to come and retire. Gotcha. They don't have to, you know, sense. do anything anymore if they're right. retired circus performers or if they're, you know, just if they're a, a college or high school mascot. Um, this is their. They get to actually be bears. Um, gotcha. and don't get toted around. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. So is this an epidemic? Yes. There Exo are currently exotic wildlife pets. Yes. There are currently a thousand bears identified requiring placement currently across the United States. And people thought that it was a good idea to have a pet bear. Yes. Bears and tigers and lions. Come on. You're kidding me. That is mm -mm. so crazy. And there's too. breeders of them. Um, there is a, just like we have the green sheet here. Right. Um, there is a paper that's published um, that you can buy animals out of. Um, so there are breeders across the United States, um, roadside attractions that breed them. Um, you can go online right now, buy a lion, tiger, or bear for less than a new iPhone. Oh my gosh. Yeah. That's, that's just crazy. Yeah, yeah. Um, what does it take to feed a bear? I know. Or a tiger or a lion? 
Um, well, um, if you're feeding them properly, right. pro- the part of what we run into is most of them that are kept as pets in backyards and stuff are fed dog food and stuff like that. Um, which if you have a high quality dog food, their nutrition, um, is very similar. Um, so it is sustainable and it's used in zoos and stuff like that too. Um, but it's usually like a old Roy or a cheap, um, dog food. Um, and then they've never had, I rescued a bear out of Ohio, um, with, as a part of the team and it had never had oranges or lettuce or carrots or honey, you know, just staples of foods that they would naturally eat depending on where they were in the United States. That's so, um, so yeah, it was very difficult to coax that animal into, cause most of the time bears think with their stomachs a lot. Yeah. Um, so most of the yeah. time you can coax them in with an orange or some honey or, um, we've even used donuts and stuff like that. Cause they have a major sweet tooth and they had never had that because they were just, right. you know, so, but yeah, um, Oh my gosh, I lost my train of thought there. Yeah, but um, so yeah, rescuing these animals is like it's, it's just it never it right. Never, it's just something people don't realize. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 How, how often do you get a call? Hey, we've got a bear. We need some help. Um, in the last well, last year when Bears Etc. got its nonprofit, um, we took twenty phone calls. Are you up and running yet? Mostly from. Wow other facilities that know that this was our goal, that I left Black Pine to do this. Gotcha. Yeah. Um, are you up and running yet? We haven't seen anything. Where, what are you doing? And um, supporting us as well. Like I've spent right. many hours on the phone with several of these facilities to make sure that we are successful in what we're doing. And, um, uh, and as we've said, no, not yet, those calls have slowed. Um, we took three calls in February for bears um, the two bears from Northwest Texas that were being kept illeg- illegally along with, um, and then, um, four bears out of Georgia and then the five bears in Northeast Texas, the gentleman, um, was passing away from cancer and he had these five bears. Oh my gosh. Um, and the, that's oh the actual gosh. transport that we took, um, part in, um, is getting, um, finding a facility and, um, finding a transport team because obviously, you know, we don't right. have the transport vehicles or anything like that yet. Um, so finding that and um, then coordinating um, with the three different facilities uh, and making sure everybody is safe during the transport as well. So uh, it took a lot of back and forth and a lot of phone calls um, since we're all in different states right. um, to then meet up in, at this Northeast Texas um, home. So. so that's kind of what you're doing now, but you're looking to kind of grow where you can then be a sanctuary yes. as well, too. Yep, yep. So okay. all of the proceeds from Oktoberfest um, will be uh, go towards our um, finding a property. Right. Um, it gets put away in a little savings account. So that way, once we have enough for a down payment, mm-hmm. we can go ahead and purchase that um, land and start building. So is there tickets to attend the event? Or? Nope, it's completely free. Okay. Um So anybody can come and participate and bounce in the bounce houses. Um, I suggest if you're an adult to wait until the kids are done. Uh, Don't bounce kids out of the bounce house, please. Um, (laughs) But yeah, and shop at the vendor booths and things like that. We've got some great vendors uh, coming in, Um, some of which are chamber members. One of uh, uh, the artists from the chamber um, is coming and his artwork is just absolutely amazing. So very excited for that. So if people want to be a vendor or um, or any information, how do they get in contact with you? Um, they can go through our website. It's okay. www.bearsetc, bearsetc.org. Okay. Um, they can find us on Facebook, Bears ETC. Um, and they can email me at info at bearsetc.org. Okay. And if you are a barbecue cook-off team, yep. I can send you to the person who's taking charge of that. If Perfect. you want to be a vendor, I can handle that. Um, so we'll get you all the information that you need. Great. And there's an event on Facebook too. Perfect. Oktoberfest. Love, still love the name. So it's on the 6th. It's on that Saturday. What yes. time? From 10 to 5. Oh, perfect. Oh, that's a great time to have it. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Nice oh. weather. We'll send you nice weather from Lobster Fest on to October. Right. Just continue October. right on October. through. Oktoberfest. Yes. Fall weather. Come on. Yes. <laughs> definitely. Oktoberfest. 
Yes, yes exactly. kind of rolls off the tongue. October. Fest. Yeah, I just love it. That's so very cute. excited. You yeah, to, you should. You be. need to trademark that. <laughs> October. Uh, yes. 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 Because and this is the Can first just annual. Say, this is an annual event that right. we're going to be holding the, the first the Saturday of October year. every yeah. year. Yeah. So, yeah. Excellent. Yeah. I think if you just say trademark after it, you trademarked it. Isn't that correct? We'll just we'll just PM. go with that. Yeah. 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 I'll just TM it. Yeah. There PM you go. It. PM <laughs> it. So real quick question because we got to go to break. Um Can they? Be released into the wild, or do they have to be sent in a sanctuary? In no, because cases? many of the cubs uh, are pulled from their mom at just a couple days of age, and their eyes are still closed. And it takes a bear cub two to three years with their mom to learn where to find food, how to defend themselves, uh, and stuff like that. So gotcha. these bears can never be released back into the wild. Understood. Yeah. Oh, well, that's interesting. All the more uh, reason yeah. to help bears, right. etc. Yeah, exactly. And come to October Fest. Come to October Fest. Yes. October 6th. Thank you so much, Katie. Oh, thank you, guys. It was really interesting um, to have you on. Um, and again, she gave your information. Um, if you're not able to uh, remember that, you can always call the Chamber or find us online. And we're going to take a quick break, and we'll be back with our next guest. We are. Uh, this is Chamber Chat on Lone Star Community Radio. Health Center Southeast Texas is a federally qualified health center. We accept Medicare, Medicaid, and most major private insurances. For our self-pay patients, we have a sliding scale discount program available. Our health centers have qualified providers and staff striving every day to provide the best quality of care to our patients. Services offered are family medicine, behavioral health services, telepsychiatry, and pediatrics. We have four area locations. Look up the Health Center Southeast Texas online at hcset.com. For those of you who like your partners, your gumbo, and your music salty, well, we're here to help with the music. Julian Shea here, host of Lone Star Country Nights Thursday, your weekly dose of roots and Americana and all the music that makes this part of the country special. We stir in western swing, honky-tonk, zydeco, Texas blues, outlaw country, and put a pinch of red dirt, and then we smoke it over a slow fire. Then listen to the results Thursday nights on Conroe's 104.5 and 106.1 and worldwide at IRLoneStar.com. A Lone Star Community Radio is Montgomery County's radio station with talk, music, weather, and traffic for Montgomery County. Have a question or comment about one of our shows? Want to know how to reach a host? Just contact the station at IRLoneStar.com or call in and leave a message at 936-647-3776. Get involved with your community with Lone Star Community Radio. And we are back with Chamber Chat. I am one of your hosts, Courtney Galley, the Director of Special Events for the Conroe Chamber. And I'm Brian Bondi, President of the Conroe Lake Conroe Chamber of Commerce. Another good segment, huh? I know. We're on to our third guest. Man, this has been a busy day. I know. We're like, man, how how is it almost like the last part of the show? We're doing really good. I know. Hopefully we can get enough in and talk golf. Yes. And Lobster Fest. Yes. So if you know or you don't know, uh, Lobster Fest is coming up October 4th and 5th. So we have our golf tournament that's going to be on Friday. Uh, We split the days up last year and we're continuing to do that again this year. Um, And we're excited to have the golf tournament at the Panorama Golf Club. Absolutely. We're glad to have you guys come out. Yes. We have Scott here with the golf club. Thank you so much. It's my privilege. Yeah. (laughs) So a lot of changes up at uh, Panorama. Tell us some of the things that y'all have been doing over the last 12 months or so. Well, it's... We were having a lot of fun up there. We uh, took over in October of 16, and oh, wow. uh, we've renovated greens, bunkers, irrigation. The golf course itself uh, it had a tremendous foundation, and we've come in and been able to enhance that uh, with some phenomenal agronomy led by Steve Gilley, who is our superintendent. And if you haven't played Panorama since 16, October of 16, you need to come see us. The golf course is we've got some of the best greens in Montgomery County. And, you know, that's a, that's a, that's a tall order to say when you consider some of the phenomenal golf facilities right. in this area. And sure. we will put them right up next to it. Change of elevation hasn't changed. Uh, the golf course itself is, is, is just, it's really been upgraded just from, uh, the, like I said, the con- consistent uh, agronomy patterns that we've been able to add to it. Yeah. And you got 27 holes out there, so you can put a lot of golfers on the course. Absolutely. 27 holes. Rotation, uh, 19 through 27. 
I mean, that's, which is kind of weird when you hear that. You usually you think of an eighteen hole golf course as the right. front nine and the back nine. Right. But with the three nines, we're able to change it and and be creative with our events. Be creative with people coming out and playing and seeing what we're doing. That really sounds like fun. So talking about creative, it just kind of um, bogged my um, a question here. But um, so what kind of like I mean, Lobster Fest is you know kind of our event is kind of go out, play, network, have have sure. have have a, have a good time. But what are there any like different things that people are doing because everybody has a golf tournament? Right. Are there anything that that organizations are doing different to kind of set themselves apart for golf tournaments? Yeah, that's a great question. I, you know, you can you can talk about different formats, but uh, I, I think the experience when they come on, if you, if you if you can over deliver with food and beverage, which yes. you guys are having cookies, you're having yeah sandwiches yeah uh you know the golf experience itself has right. been around since the shepherds were doing it in the 1400s so there's not a lot of <laughs> exciting i mean right. there's, there's people that they're right. bringing cannons out now there's instead of a long drive hole they're they're having a cannon yeah. and you can play that so I, I but i think the golf experience right uh, is enhanced by who you're playing with how much food i get and how much i get to drink there so let's go. be Let's be honest yeah, about that. Let's put that on the but table. Of course, <laughs> the green's great, so you'll have a good time. There's yeah. no question. Well, speaking of that, we do. We have um, so we have some sponsorships open um, for um, snack and beverage sponsors. Good. Sponsorships. So you'll be out on a hole. You'll get to kind of do a giveaway or um, you know play some games with some of the golfers. But uh, the chamber will supply the snacks and the beverages, so the golfers will definitely stop there to get to get something. So um, it yeah. sounds fun. And yeah. then to, you know to get to go and have steak the next night. It doesn't get any better. Than yeah. That. Right. The Definitely. golfers will be good. The yeah. golf is going to be good. We're going to set you guys up playing, and I always I call it by numbers, but the the two nines we're going to play for the tournament is Winged Foot and Rolling Hill. Okay. So those are the two. They yeah. all have the champion and celebration grass. Uh, it's going to be really, really fun. Yep. And, you know, we're, we're, we're just excited about the community getting to see what's happening in Panorama. It's yeah. not the Village Golf Club anymore. Right. I mean, you know, we've got Friday Night Features. We're doing – Breakfast on Saturday morning. We've got also, and I'm not trying to make a commercial, but no, I mean, we have lots of uh, of activity and, and opportunity yeah. for you at Panorama. Yeah, well, we've had the opportunity to eat there a couple yeah, of times, but delicious. I mean, I know um, one of the residents out there, one of our diplomats and volunteers, and a former board member, uh, Caroline Mason, just they just rave about your food. The Masons it's actually are, pretty good, and I think I had like the quesadillas or something last time we were in there. Yeah. It was so good. It's it is good. Yeah, you got a new Those chef, Brian yes. Hoke. Yeah. Came over from Bentwater, so we're we're yeah we're having fun. Yeah, great. And that golf course, I mean, the the fairways are immaculate. They just look really good. They, you know, it's 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 fun to see the transformation, and, you bet. It, and it's really really exciting to get the feedback from the players. You know, it, it, it's it's not a you know what we've done is we've our approach has been to focus on the golf course and that experience. Mm -hmm. You know, there's not a lot of marketing dollars as you can imagine. In this that's why our chamber. Membership is so important, but mm -hmm. when to have the people come out and see it and check out our web, our website has our deals. It's Panorama GCTX.com. Constantly have deals and, and opportunities yeah. for you there as well as information on what's going on. Great. Yeah. You know, I, um, I comment about the fairways because typically I'm in the rough looking at the fairways, wishing I could be in there. <laughs> so we do they have look really good. Lessons. We, we, we've got Saturday <laughs> clinics. We'd love to have you come be, out. Somebody, oh, can, I can great. be educated. Yeah, absolutely. Huh? <laughs> Oh, foundation. You gotta have. You gotta have a foundation. You gotta have those tools, and then you just work with your swing. That explains a lot. Yeah, yeah. I'm. I'm more like uh, sand, so not okay. much of a foundation. <laughs> I always say I drive. The, I drive the cart better than I golf. Well, that takes a lot expert, of art. I'm an expert cart driver. Water. I'm, I'm an gonna vouch for that. Driver. I saw her last year. She is amazing. <laughs> Hairpin turns. Takes, takes talent like that. to drive that cart really well. Yeah. Yeah. People have gotten hurt doing. It. People died. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> You set a you set a phenomenal standard there. Yes, thank you. Appreciate that. I think my golf clubs have dust on them. So, so golf tournaments have kind of uh, evolved over the years into more of an experience than just playing golf, haven't yeah. they? Yeah. Absolutely. I mean, the, the especially corporately and, and fundraising aspect. You know, to be able to spend four and a half hours, five hours with your customer uh, is 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 a great opportunity. You yep. know, they won't sit necessarily in a luncheon that long, but they'll come oh, out. They'll true. play golf. You interact with them. You have, like you said, you, you talk about your sponsors on the holes. Or the, mm -hmm. They're able to see all the members. It's just, you know, in, in at the right uh, <clears throat> conditions, and that's so dependent on weather, and October right. is going to be phenomenal. There's yeah. no question about that. It just adds a, a unique uh, 
because it changes every year. You know what I'm saying? You might be, you, you know, I know you guys move around to different golf mm-hmm. courses, but who you're playing with and who you interact with and how you play, right. all that changes. And so it keeps it exciting. It's, yeah. it's, uh, it's fun to see the people come out and, uh, uh, and use the golf experience as a way to raise money or to, or to promote their business. Yeah. yeah. I know, uh, was it last year, the first year we used the cannon, or the second or third year? Oh, yeah. uh, second or, thir- or yeah. third year, yeah. So we have the lobster launcher. Lobster there launcher. Yes, lobster launcher. So we're That's excited so cool. about that. Yeah, and we're um, we're actually working with them about doing some hole-in-one contest. Yep. Um, we have some members that also um, provide prizes and things like that. So, yeah, I mean, we try. I try and, like, I would love to have something on every hole. Sure. I mean, that's kind of my, you know, I would love to be able to do that. So, um, and I know we've got some, uh, hopefully a couple of exciting things coming up um, for some people to be on um, sponsoring a hole. But because um, to me, it's more about that experience yes. and about having fun and things like that. So, Absolutely. Yeah. We want y'all, you know, we're going to throw you the keys. We want you to, yeah. to, to take the facility <laughs> and, and for your, yeah. your members and your group to have right. a phenomenal time. We're well, excited about yeah, that. Yeah, and we can take, um, I believe, up to 30 teams per flight. So we have a Absolutely. 730 and a 130 uh, shotgun start. Right. And I'm I'm already over, I think. I think I'm like at 31 Outstanding. teams. So you need to sign up now. I know you think October, it's it's a month away, but we're going to get full pretty quickly. That's here, just so. it. It's, it's only a month yeah. away, and it's going to fill up fast. Yeah, so for foursome, it's uh, $750. And then again, we have like an eagle and a birdie sponsorship where you can get dinner and golf together. So those are those are still those will be open until until we sell out, which I know we will sell out for golf and for dinner. Dinner, so. dinner Thursday, golf Friday. Yes, yeah. correct. Yeah, I had so, the opposite. Yeah. That's all right. It's all good. That's okay. Yeah. So you get so, to eat before you play golf. That ain't getting better. Right. Yeah. And Absolutely. you get to start your weekend early. There right. It is. And then you go to Octo- <laughs> October October Fest. Uh, right. Bear exactly. Fest. I mean, your it's your a weekend is weekend. planned. Dude. Yes, definitely. Totally awesome. Um. Do you have anything coming up that you want to promote? Any anything going on? You know, we're uh, we're coming into the fall. The, like I said, we we uh, uh, have completed all of our our maintenance for the summer, which means the airification. The the golf course is really really coming in. The little bit of rain that we've had the last yeah. couple of days is going to help, and it looks like we'll have this week. So we're we're just Good. we're open for business. If you yeah. have an experience, there you go. PanoramaGCTX.com. Yes. We would we 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 yeah. encourage you. Yeah. To come find us and, and come play some golf. My um, former um, boss at the pavilion, her dad, um, played a lot of golf. And um, she always, her dad always said, it's never raining on the golf course. You know, this week that's true. <laughs> <laughs> it we never rains on the inch. golf course. Yes, so he was, we, apparently he was always out there. So, we're not yeah. even on. We're off cart pass. So I know there's <laughs> yeah. some places in this area <laughs> yeah. that are on the pass. That's right. We're not right. on pass. Yeah. Come that's on a, out. That's, that's pretty perfect. good. Absolutely. Okay. Well, thank you so much for coming on. Um, I mean, this was a great, great segment, great show. Um, And um, so come to Lobster Fest, check out uh, Panorama Golf Club. Um, This was Chamber Chat. And October Fest. Yes. October 6th. And so we'll be on next month. We uh, will be on the week of um, Lobster Fest. So more information about that. This is Courtney Galley with the Conroe Lake Conroe Chamber of Commerce for Chamber Chat. I'm Brian Bondi. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next month. See ya.